Hey, Kerry here on uh, my listing on Rock Creek Trail. We sold it this last weekend and I wanted to get with you uh, all my best of US agents and explain to you what happened and how the house got sold. It was originally on the market for over a year and then I sold it in 21 days and in this video I want to tell you how that came about and why I think it happened and uh, how I'm going to turn it into two more listings. So stay with me, I want to share this with you. As I said, the listing was on the market since uh, March of 2018 and it went through two other realtors and I got it somewhere in the middle of June and sold it in 21 days. And I know what you're probably saying is you're saying, well, you probably reduced the price and that's how you uh, got it sold. In fact, I raised the price. Um, the reality was it wasn't being marketed. It's in uh, the best school systems in Birmingham and it um, is priced at a price that it should move fast because it's, it's priced way below what uh, the normal home would go for on a square footage basis. So what I did was first of all uh, create a walk and talk video, an eight minute video, and put it out through my social media channels as well as across uh, LinkedIn and a, an email blast, uh, Facebook advertising and such. And so I built an awareness of the house. What I realized and, what, and, and why I took the listing was I knew who was going to buy it. It was going to be a young um, executive, uh, probably both husband and wife work, and they wanted to get into the Mountain Brook school system. So that's how I marketed it. That's how I geared the video. That's how I distributed to my custom audience. And that's who showed up. Now, the other thing that took place was I showed up for the showings. We had uh, five showings in the 21 days, and uh, this one came at seven o'clock in the evening, which was inconvenient for me, but nonetheless, I did it. And, and uh, I was there to answer the, the buyer's questions. He had some questions about the yard, about the, um, the lot, lot lines and, and such, and I didn't have the answers, but I had a phone. I called the, the homeowner, and the homeowner told me where I could find a set of the plans which showed the lot lines. And so we answered their questions when they had them and they ended up buying it. So as I say, it, it sold in 21 days. The other thing that I had done relative to the, to the video was I invited other agents in from my office who were younger than me to stand right here and pitch this house. What I knew was they had a different social media network than I did. And by them then promoting the house, we reached these people. So in other words, if you'll see some of my other videos, I talk about agent collaboration. And that is, I invite other agents to pitch my houses so that I reach a broader audience. I think this is a no-brainer, but nobody else does it. But that's how you promote a house over social media. Now, that's a win. Uh, 21 days, everybody's going to be happy. The homeowners are going to be happy. The buyers are going to be happy. I'm going to be happy. So how do I now leverage this into more sales or more listings? The first thing I did was I put together a letter and this is my just sold letter. As you can see, it's about a page and a half long. And what I do is I basically say to the, the folks that I sold this house, um, it had been on the market since March 2018 and this is what I did and I in the letter explain what I just told you as I, I, I go into very good detail on on the, um, the the video I tell them that I show up for every one of my listings and that's why my house is sell what I want to do is share this letter with you and uh, if you when you sign up for best of US agents and for those of you who are already best of US agents I'll email this letter to you uh, when you sign up it will be on a um, automated program and as by virtue of you signing it, it you will get it the other thing I'm going to put in that envelope with this letter 
is a letter of recommendation from the seller. He's going to write me a personal letter explaining what I did and how I did it and how he appreciated it. And that will go out to my 100 members of my most wanted list. These are the people that I want to do business with. These are the people that I have identified uh, have the kind of home, the price of home, the quality of home that I want to list. Now, most of them are expired listings. These are people who have had trouble selling their house, much as this home homeowner did. And so they're going to be receptive to someone coming and saying, uh, I, I've got a different way of doing it. I have a different way of target marketing it. So that's, go that's going to open up new opportunities to me. In the end of the letter, I, I have a sentence that says, um, why am I sharing this information with you? Because some of the people that are going to get this letter already have their house listed with another agent. And I'm going to invite them to share the information that I shared with them with their agent and offer to help their agent if they want help selling their house. You might say, that's kind of crazy. Why would you help another agent? The, the, the reality is 99.9% .9 of the agents will never ask for help. So it isn't going to happen. Some of, the list, some of the people who have their houses will ask for the help. Is it a backhanded way? I don't think so. Because if an agent calls me and says, look, Gary, I'd like your help selling this house and uh, I'll, I'll share the commission with you in some form. I'm open to anything they want to want to do. I want to help people sell their homes. And I think I have a better way. I think I have more knowledge. I have more experience. I'm not afraid to get in front of a camera and pitch a house. So that's what I'm going to do. Then I'm going to send out a hundred of these letters along with the letter of recommendation from the homeowner and it, that will turn into at least two listings for above 750000 each. I'm putting a price tag on those two of probably $2 million. That's how I run my business. That's how I want to help you run your business. So join Best of U.S. Agents. Come join our fe Facebook group, Best of U.S. Agents, and I'll share everything that I learn and that I experience with you. I'll share my successes, I'll share my failures. And I want you to be a part of bestofusagents.com and I want you to share what you get from me with your fellow agents. We need to build a tribe. The industry is going to change dramatically in the next five years. Zillow's coming in to take a big part of the industry. We have to be able to do something they can't do. They can't do this. They can't write these letters. They can't show up for every showing. They can't create an eight minute walk and talk video. I just answered a, a, a email today that asked me or said that, do you really believe 50% of the agents will be gone in five years? Yes, I do. They will be gone and Zillow will replace them because they will take the low hanging fruit you need to be in a position to help people who are having a problem selling their home and i'll teach you to do that okay got some things to do we got the inspectors here today uh, we're going to close um i think around the first of uh first of august well, a nice young couple they came out to uh, we have a lot in common okay take care